Welcome to this video demonstration showcasing mission critical SQL Server 2012 data warehouse enabled by EMC VNX 5500 high bandwidth array in a virtualized environment. This demo highlights a building block design that can be scaled easily. We'll first talk about the architecture design of the environment, then building block design. The capability of VNX 5500 high bandwidth array and impact of deploying building blocks will be demonstrated next, followed by the summary. Architecture design. This graph shows the configuration for this solution. Two 8GB fiber channel SAN switches connect two rack mount ESXi servers to the VNX array. The SQL Server VMs created on the ESXi servers are deployed with a building block design. Four VMs hosting four SQL Server 2012 instances each has a number of databases built with the building blocks. As in the picture, the building blocks can be scaled up by adding to the same VM or scaled out to build on different VMs. There are 11 building blocks ranging from 500 gigabyte to 2 terabytes of database with total of 18 terabytes built in this solution. Details of the building blocks will follow. Building block design. Most data warehouse and data analytic environments facing ever increasing size and complexity. The need for scalable yet cost-effective flexible configuration and the require repeatable design for rapid deployment. EMC building block for data warehouse design is a highly flexible configuration addresses most of these challenges with near linear scale up and scale out capability. Here are the three building blocks used in this solution. 500 gigabyte, one terabytes, and a two terabyte building block. For each virtual machine, minimum requirements for vCPU and memory applies. If all building blocks in a VM adds up require less than that, use a VM minimum. Building block design details. In 500 gigabyte building block, it can sustain a bandwidth of 100 megabyte per second. It uses two CPUs, eight gigabyte memory, five disks for database alarm with 100 gigabyte tempdb space and five gigabyte log space. One terabyte building block, it can sustain a bandwidth of 200 megabytes per second, uses four CPUs, 16 gigabyte RAM, and 10 disks for database alone. With 200 gigabyte temp DB space and a 12 gigabyte log space. A two terabyte building block can sustain a bandwidth of 400 megabytes per second, uses eight vCPUs, 32 gigabyte RAM, 20 disks for database alone, and 400 gigabyte temp DB and 12 gigabyte log alone. There are two ways to deploy the building blocks in a virtual environment. In scale-up deployment model, a building block is simply added into an existing VM. It adds its vCPU and the RAM to the existing VM and uses the same SQL Server instance on that VM. Thus, the building blocks will need to share the same tempdb and other SQL Server resources. In scale-out model, a building block is deployed to a separate VM. The new VM will be created with a vCPU and a RAM required for this building block, or the minimum requirement for that VM, whichever is larger. In this solution, 11 building blocks with different size and bandwidth requirement were deployed to four VMs. In one of the VM, VM3, there are five databases running for scale-up testing. The total size of these 11 databases is 18 terabytes. The data layout in this solution consists of four drives shown in orange as the vault disks. They are reserved for VNX OS. Five drives shown in light brown are placed in a RAID 5 storage group for the VM OS launch. Four drives in light gray as 2 plus 2 RAID 10 group are used for the transaction log six drives in yellow reserved as hot spares, 26 drives in green used for tempdb launch, 
and the rest 180 drives are configured into a RAID 5 4 plus 1 for database loans. Test the results and the demo. SQL.io is used to validate how the VNX 5500 high bandwidth array can support large I.O. size typically seen in data warehouse environment. When I.O. size is 64K, the bandwidth is very similar with both 64K and 512 KB stripe size. When the I.O. size increased to 512 K, the large stripe size configuration that's supported by high bandwidth feature can double the bandwidth to close to 400 megabytes per second. The VNX array with 180 SAS drives configured as RAID 5 for database loans could support up to 14,400 megabytes per second with sufficient system resource for SQL Server. In this test, we used the column store index to generate close to 500 KB I.O. The VNX 5500 high bandwidth array can support 350 megabytes per second with one RAID 5 4 plus 1 LAN, which closely matches the SQL I.O. result. Let's watch a demo for the scale-up testing of the building blocks. First, we start a workload for a 2 terabytes database on the VM and observe its bandwidth. We need to ignore the initial spike. And when it's stabilized, it reaches 400 megabytes per second. After the first workload is stabilized, we will initial the workload for the second 2 terabytes database on the same virtual machine. And after this workload is running in full speed, go back and check the performance. Here we see the initial spike from the second workload for the second database. And it stabilized on a 800 megabytes per second level. We will wait for that to stabilize and add the third workload for a third 2 terabytes database. Now we start the workload and it's running in full speed. Go back and check the performance. Here is the spike for the initial workload of the third database. And it will level out to a sustainable 1,200 megabytes per second. Near linear bandwidth increment can be expected when scaling up the building blocks on the same VM. The backend bandwidth on VNX is shown in this test with one 2 terabyte building block VM, 400 megabytes per second, and two building blocks scaled to 800 megabytes per second, and three building blocks close to 1200 megabytes per second sustainable bandwidth. CPU utilization and test duration for scale-up testing shows very similar results. And this indicates a near linear increment for scale-up. The scale-out testing is very similar to that of scale-up. The backend bandwidth is with linear increment from 400 megabytes per second to 800 megabytes per second to 1200 megabytes per second. The scale-out deployment can achieve predictable test results. It holds well when adding more building blocks to the environment for CPU utilization and test duration. When running workload on all 18 terabytes database in the environment, the total bandwidth can reach more than 3,000 megabytes per second on the array. To summarize, this EMC solution has shown the implementation of a building block design for SQL Server data warehouse deployment 
in a VMware private cloud environment hosted by VNX 5500 high bandwidth storage. With large size I.O. in data warehouse environment, the high bandwidth feature for VNX with a large stripe size can provide very high bandwidth. Each database has different workload characteristics and placed varying demands on the underlying storage. The building block design for data warehouse in virtualized SQL Server environment can be easily scaled up and scaled out with linear or near linear performance scalability. Thank you for viewing this demo. For more information, please visit our website https slash slash community dot emc dot com slash community slash connect slash everything underscore Microsoft.